we're so hardwired for this sort of thing yes. in terms of good and evil. I mean, all our yes. stories, all the fairy tales, all the Star Wars movies, everything yeah. is about good versus evil. Every way that we tell stories about wars that our country has fought in, whichever country we're in, yeah. we tell the story of the bad guys on the other side and the good guys on our side. So how do we escape that? It's not easy. It, it's one of those things, just like knowledge creation and knowing the world as it is, it is an arduous, never-ending process of, of, of revision and relearning. I think that one of the best things you can do for this, and I wrote a book as a follow-up to Coddling the American Mind with this brilliant young woman named Ricky Schlott called Canceling the American Mind. And we talked about the antidote for cancel culture is basically what we call free speech culture. And trying to sort of like to simply explain what it means to have a free speech culture, I realized that a lot of the idioms that we would have grown up with, but younger people haven't so much grown up with. And we just did a survey on this, by the way, about how often people use things like to each their own, you know, not my cup of tea, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. All these things we said a lot as a kid, and we all we thought everybody agreed on that, right? Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I don't have to like it, but but I haven't walked you know walked a mile in your shoes, so I can't really judge you. And I think that those are great sayings for a culture of dignity. 